What I'm trying to do here is try to help the people out there that need a little bit of help. I'm not trying to teach the good groomers uh, out there. I'm trying to teach the ones that are trying to become good groomers. I'm going to gently walk you through uh, the different stages of grooming a dog. We're going to start with the very basics like what tools to use, what products to use, uh, trimming around the feet, trimming the face in a, ahead of time to let that start growing back, how to groom or how to strip a staged uh, coat, what timing frame to use. Different dogs are a little bit different. I'm not trying to tell you that everyone is just as I'm saying, but uh, it's just a general um, how-to kind of thing. Uh, I will walk you through trimming legs, front and rear, uh, what stages to do first, how many days to leave in between, and as many little details as I can think of. If you see something that I'm doing that skips something that you'd like to know about, please feel free to respond to me and uh, ask me any question that you'd like to ask me. There's uh, nothing about grooming that should be a secret. The more overwhelming important thing is to just work really, really doesn't take that much to spend the 15 or 20 extra minutes that it takes to make the difference. So I will teach you step by step the differences and how to do them to the best of my ability and so that hopefully you can do them to the best of your ability. So let's take a look and see what uh, is up next. On Put your finger in the middle here, push in so you create a little rounded brush here. Take it and just work it into the hair and pull it straight out. You're not combing this way or that way. You're just pushing it in and pulling it out. I'm going to do 
is work down the hair that's on the bridge of his nose because it's too long and if I don't do it now I won't have time to grow it back long enough uh, when I'm growing his coat. work from the corner of his eye straight out. So all you have to do is pick it up with your fingers and just pull off. from the corner of his eye out like a big long brick on end basically on an Irish Terrier you want to wedge so you're going to narrow it down a little bit toward the, the front but that's not the overwhelming important part of this the overwhelming important part of this is to make sure you don't dish him out uh, in here You can really see this very well. Uh, or not. But at this point, I have trimmed his face. If you take that and look at that, trim down. Look at him here. And he's uh, very slightly narrowing toward the front. And plenty of fill in here yet. Another place people go wrong is you absolutely want to show the nose. So you shorten this at an angle down to here. And you definitely want to still pull this hair. You want to pull this hair because you want it nice and crisp and you want it to be able to uh, come straight out. If you don't work that, it's going to end up falling down on you. So you can see that I've taken his eyebrows off and I've taken him down in here to where it comes at an angle uh, straight down. So that's all I'm going to do to the head as we speak, right? Uh, so many people um, do the legs incorrectly. Um, the, the most important part of doing a leg is just plain hard work. If you have multiple layers of hair <clears throat> in his leg, you'll end up with the, the nicest looking legs you can imagine. But <clears throat> you have to start with, with making the foot. And then you go to here and you can create a line from the edge of the foot to here. However, because 
we're starting this to getting in shape over a period of time, we're going to pull this back a little more uh, harshly than, than we normally would. Now you never um, cut hair at any point around this foot. You can cut hair between the pads. You may not cut hair around the foot. It shows. And if you're out there trying to beat your local handler, many of them, this is one of the places they cheat. And by cheating, um, you know, they've saved themselves time because they have a lot of dogs to take care of. But you can beat them here. This is one place that you can beat them. the dog where this little diamond um, uh, stone comes in really really well it grabs the hair very well and by pulling the foot down tight you're gonna get rid of that big old foot that sticks out you're gonna chop in half so you can make your dog look like he has really good feet <laughs> 